How's it, Aloha gang, and welcome back to High Now Daily. Sleep is such an important part of your overall health, and you know what, we never get enough of it. And the sleep medicine providers at Hawaii Pacific Neuroscience have new options when it comes to diagnosing and treating obstructive sleep apnea. These fellas here are gonna be able to help you out. That's Nick Anderson and Chris Laranaga. Welcome into the show, gentlemen. Hi, thank thanks you for having us. us. Thank you very much for being here. So as we mentioned a little bit uh, off the top, obstructive sleep apnea. Maybe people are watching this right now, they might be snoring, they don't know that they have it, but, but really what is it? Yeah, so obstructive sleep apnea, it's when, when you fall asleep, you actually, your airway's getting blocked off while you're asleep. So that can happen from your tongue falling backwards, blocking off the throat, or the airway just collapsing on itself. So as we get older, it becomes more common. Or it, you know, if you're, we're a little overweight in the neck, that, that can sometimes cause it as well. So essentially, we're just, you're not breathing right when you're asleep, so that's, that's the real, basics of what it is yeah okay and and so people uh, and people obviously when they're sleeping they're not realizing this right or, or are they sometimes uh, they, they yeah they wake up choking or gasping for air snoring is off it's obviously like the hallmark right. symptom but just because you snore doesn't necessarily mean you have sleep apnea gotcha. so other things to look for are like daytime sleepiness um, sleep fragmentation or waking up constantly throughout the night mm -hmm. uh, having to urinate uh, frequently throughout the night okay. things like this can can kind of point you towards uh, you might having more than just snoring. And the, and the funny thing is usually it's not the patient coming in complaining because of what they're experiencing. Usually it's someone they share the bed with. Yeah, you know, they're, they're annoyed by their snoring or yeah. they're like, hey, he stops breathing while he's asleep. So they're they're worried about that. So right, and, and obviously, uh, I, I mean, it can become a very potentially dangerous situation. So that's why there are uh, things out there that can really help people throughout this process. We were talking a little bit earlier that there's new options, right, mm -hmm. that are kind of out there in terms of sleep medicine. Yeah, so I mean, I think there's the diagnostics and the treatment and both there's a little bit new for both, right? Okay. So diagnostics, it used to be you always had to go into a sleep lab, you always had to, you know, kind of an involved process sleeping outside the home. So we have new ways of testing now that you can even, it's just something you wear on your finger or on your wrist. So it's it's a lot more, it's a lot easier, you can do it at home. It's a lot but, more comfortable, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. because I, I, when I think of sleep apnea, maybe oftentimes people are thinking about the, the big breath machine, right? But yeah. people don't need to do those to get diagnosed these days? No, so, so yeah, to get diagnosed, no. And then even the treatment, so you know, CPAP, that's historically what's been used mm -hmm. to treat it, that's the mask. Um, the covers of the face can be a little bit uncomfortable. But now, so CPAP is still the best treatment. There's new masks, which can be helpful. Um, but we even have, now there's a surgical option. So it's an implant. I have an example of it right here. Hold that uh, up for us, Nick. So, so what yeah. is that? What are you holding? So up? this is the implant. It's, it's called Inspire. It's a hypoglossal nerve stimulator. What it does is it, it gets implanted in the chest and it connects to a nerve that actually moves the tongue forward while you sleep. And so wow. from a patient standpoint, once it's implanted, once you're good to go, all it is is you just have this remote, you turn it on when you go to sleep, you go to bed like you normally would, and then you turn it back off when you wake up in the morning. So it, it's, it's a great treatment option. Usually patients tolerate it pretty well, barring the fact that it is surgery. And so we'd like right. people to understand that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great to have an alternative. Like I said, CPAP is still the best, mm -hmm. but Inspire is another option. Um, and then one other new one, if you've heard of like Ozempic or Wegovy right, or right. the weight loss ones. Uh -huh. So there, there's one called ZepBound and it was just approved actually within the last month for the management of sleep apnea as well. So it works by helping people to lose weight. So you have to have obesity and sleep apnea, but if you have both, it, it just got approval as well. So we got some exciting new options. Well, I think it's just fantastic that it's out there for people to know that maybe, you know, in previous times or throughout trials and things like that, they didn't know what the best step was moving right. forward. So yeah. again, these options are, are currently available. I do want to go back as well. You mentioned a few of the symptoms. Uh, what else do people need to be cognizant of if, if their partner isn't breathing or symptoms that people should be out on the lookout for when it comes to OSA? Yeah, I mean, um, kind of check in with yourself to see how sleep you are during the day. I think that right. kind of gets overlooked sometimes. Um, and and yeah, if there, if the snoring, um, what we call witness apneas, or if your partner notices that you stop breathing for a prolonged amount of time, um, is, is kind of a big hallmark sign. Um, other nuanced things are like restless legs or kicking or jerking your legs in sleep, mm -hmm. um, things like that can, and acting out dreams. There are other like kind of subtle things you don't see all the time, maybe not as common, but can point that there is some disorder of sleep there. And a lot of times it points back to sleep apnea. Gotcha. Now, yeah. fellas, there's probably people watching this right now who might be experiencing some of the very things you guys are describing. If they want to schedule a consultation with you guys, get more information uh, in terms of, and, and seek treatment, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, I mean, so we have a website. It's hawaiineuroscience.com. Yeah, and our phone number is 808-261-4476. Uh, uh, gotcha. Yeah. Hey, Chris, thank you very much for yeah. the time. And again, yeah, for more information. So much. Yeah. Uh, about OSA as well, you can head to our website, highnowdaily.com. Right. We'll be right back. Cheers, gang. Hey, thank you. Mahalo, Thanks for having me. Yeah. 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 You want it smooth? <laughs> yeah. <laughs>